Hey folks, Gary here. So I just wanted to make a real quick video and share some things with you real quick. The last couple of days I've been basically playing around with ammo for my 6.5 PRC and I had a bunch of Hornady 147 grain ELD match for my uh, 6.5 PRC. And I wanna know if any of you guys are getting similar results uh, with that ammunition. So spent the last couple of days zeroing, grouping, testing for accuracy. Um, and man, I've just had super erratic results with the 6.5 PRC ELD Hornady stuff. Um, and at first I didn't think that was actually the ammo. So number one, I was like, ah, is it me? Because I was having such erratic changes in point of impact. It was pretty crazy. I tried zeroing with, uh, with a suppressor, without a suppressor, uh, or I should say grouping with a suppressor and without a suppressor. Uh, I was running through the lab radar. That was kind of another indication right there because of the fact that I was getting very high SDs. But some of that didn't even explain what I was experiencing. I'm gonna talk about this group right here in just a second. Um, but if we peel back the, the layer here, we can kind of see this is without making any changes on the 6.5 PRC ELD match Hornady. And this is the type of very erratic um groups that i was getting um let's see if i can get over here yeah here's here's another uh that one was one of the best groups but this is what i'd also see a lot too is that we would actually have we would actually have where i would actually group two or three rounds and then i'll suddenly i have two or three rounds in a completely different spot um and again i was making sure that i wasn't changing parallax i probably shot i don't know 200 rounds at least just playing around with that. Um, and I, I was getting very consistent erratic results. Uh, usually two or three rounds in one spot, two or three rounds in another spot. Um, again, I went through all my, making sure that all my uh, optics were torqued correctly. There was nothing shifting. Uh, the whole nine yards. Spent several days because I wasn't, I didn't think it was the ammo at first, to be honest with you. And then uh, I remember that I have some 6.5 PRC Norma 142 grain. And this is the best group that I shot with that, 0.388 MOA. So just below a 0.4 MOA. Um, here was another one I shot actually grouping there. Uh, pretty similar results, I think that's 0.42 MOA. These up there, I was basically kind of zeroing and I was making adjustments in between, but I could tell that those were grouping and I was getting predictable impacts. Um, with the Hornady, and, and by the way, folks, I had pretty much, every now and then I'd get a decent group. And I had pretty much, I don't know if it's this one, but very similar. Um, I had pretty much gotten that rifle, what I thought was zeroed, came out today, very similar conditions, very similar uh, density altitudes. And where I was impacting here, now I'm like a full, you know, one MOA to the right. Um, and there was just constant, constant weird changes, right? So that, so, you know, that's what I was kind of dealing with that. So I'm wondering if you, any of you out there are having the same issue with the 6.5 PRC. I've had tremendous results with the 147 and the 142 ELDM for 6.5 Creedmoor, but I'm really disappointed in the results that I'm getting for the 6.5 PRC. And the Norma match is doing fantabulous. I'm gonna spend some more time getting more data on that. But for the most part, that normal match is really the ticket. And I'll, I'll take you over here and we'll take a look at the gun and the ammunition itself. All right, folks, so you can see I got some brass going on here, uh, but that's the, most of that is the 147 grade match. And I have about probably six more boxes in there that uh, at least four or five that I shot yesterday and have intermittently, this is the first time I've had time to really play around with my 6.5 PRC barrel and, and really kind of dial things in the way that I wanted to. Anyways, but this 6.5 match grade Norma, 143 grain 6.5 PRC Norma, uh, so far I'm getting the best results with that. I do think it's definitely an ammo issue. Um, and even that I'm not 100%, I mean 0.4, nothing to shake your head at but I, I i'm definitely going to start reloading that 6.5 prc but anyways i wanted to share that experience with you 
Uh, I wish I would have kind of known what to expect ahead of time. I would have documented this better and maybe I will do a follow on video, but I thought it'd be cool to share this quick video for you so that if you are shooting 6.5 PRC, number one, I'd like to know from you down in the comments, if you're having similar bad results with the Hornady Match ELDM in the 147 grain. And you know, that'll tell me if it's maybe my gun just likes a particular ammo uh, at a certain muzzle velocity, a certain grain, right? So. Those are all things that we can share. Again, this is a community. We share these experiences. And what I always try to do is make sure that I make all the mistakes, I buy the wrong gear, I do the wrong stuff so that I can put you on the right direction a lot quicker. And I'd appreciate if you reciprocate and come back and let me know what's working for you. But we are gonna do some reloading on this. I'll share that with you. I'll definitely put that on Rumble. You know how YouTube is with anything. And by the way, if you like content like this, folks, make sure you subscribe like throw a comment down below if you support and defend the second amendment i would also ask you to stop watching youtube right uh there are enemies of the second amendment they're enemies of the first amendment quit watching youtube i want you to share this i want you to like this video i want you to subscribe hit the bell icon so that you know when we have new videos but know that we are pushing most of our content over to rumble make sure you check out our other social media sites down below we do a lot of cool things on there and every wednesday at 7 p.m eastern time we have our dangerous liberty podcast we have special guests on we talk about guns gear training politics uh, a lot of cool stuff and you get to interact with us live right here on youtube and rumble make sure you join us live i prefer if you're over on rumble we got to quit helping our enemies anyways i just wanted to do a real quick video on that and give you that information and you know while guns and gear is great what we're really about is training so make sure you go to paramounttactical.com go check out our upcoming training schedule we'd love to have you out we'd love to meet you in person long range courses tactical carbine handgun courses medical courses and also do all your shopping at paramount tactical because that is where we have the gear that we have tested and we believe in and you know you can buy with confidence but until next time stay armed stay ready we'll talk to you soon